Glory to the Lord God Almighty, the maker and the possessor of heaven and earth. I am David Ibona, and this is David Ibona Ministries. I'm going to be speaking today on the, the Passover and the believer's calendar. There has been arguments and debates which are very unnecessary over using the Hebrew calendar as against the regular calendar we are using. And it appears to some people that their holiness will be boosted by using the Hebrew calendar. And so I want to explain certain things about the Passover to you. In Exodus chapter 12 verse 2, God spoke to Moses and Aaron and said, this month shall be the beginning of months unto you. And that is the month of the Passover. He said, it shall be a beginning of months unto you. And so, the first covenant began with the Passover. The old covenant began with the Passover. The new covenant begins with the death of Jesus Christ. The death of Jesus Christ began the new covenant. The old covenant ended with, with the death of Jesus Christ. And the new began with the death of Jesus Christ. Because the Bible says that Jesus is our Passover lamb. The, the blood of the Passover lamb protected the people from spirit, from physical death. The blood of Jesus Christ protects us from spiritual death. And so, the nation with which God had the old covenant, they, their calendar began, they were born. That's why the Bible says, they were baptized unto Moses at the Red Sea. They were born by the Passover. We as believers, we are born by the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And so, the day you give your life to Christ is the beginning of your calendar. Your individual calendar begins when you are born again. And so, everything you have done prior to being, giving your life to Jesus Christ, good or evil, will not, amount, will not be recorded much for you. except you backslide. But when you get born again, it is from the moment you are born again that you are alive. And so your activities are giving you rewards. Your rewards are growing. But before you gave your life to Jesus Christ, you were dead spiritually. Israel was not a proper nation until that Passover. Then they had a covenant with God Almighty and he now moved them out of Egypt into their own land. So when we become born again, we are moved from death into life, the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. Just like the Israelites moved from the, their place of bondage to their place of freedom. And so believers should not assume that following the Hebrew calendar is going to make them holy. It won't. That calendar is a Hebrew calendar. The calendar we are operating in is not the calendar that God is going to judge us with or He's timing the world with. It is not. And prior to the Hebrew calendar, what calendar were they using? What calendar was Abraham using? If Abraham was using the exact same calendar that God instructed Moses to use, I'm not sure God would have needed to instruct Moses. Because Moses would have already been familiar with the calendar. The Israelites would have been familiar with the calendar. But they were not using that calendar. And that was why God said, this month, he now gave them a calendar. So to tag your holiness with following a Hebrew calendar is not the right thing to do. Because that may not be the calendar that was used by Abraham, that was used by Enoch, that was used by Noah. It's not. So... Your holiness is not by your Hebrew practice. It is by your walking in faith in Christ Jesus. You got born again. That was the beginning of your individual calendar. And then the church itself began when Christ died and resurrected. He is our Passover. His blood 
is what saves us. The Passover blood could protect from physical death that night and engage the people in a covenant with God to be given a land, physical land. The blood of Jesus Christ protects us from spiritual death and engages us in a covenant with God for eternal life in his presence. And so, when you remember what Jesus did on the cross, Know that he gave you a new life, a new beginning. Walk in the life that you have been given. You don't need to try to, re to reenact what has already been fulfilled. It was fulfilled in Christ. The Passover was fulfilled in him. And that is why he died at the time of the Passover. Because he was the fulfillment of the Passover. The Passover was speaking of him coming the lamb slain was speaking about the one who would come and die for our sins and give us a new beginning the bible says in second corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 if any man be in christ he is a new creation all things are passed away all things have become new not a recreation but a new creation a new creature you are a new creature that has not existed before. And so when you get born again, you are born anew. You are someone who has not existed. You are a creation that has not existed. The church has not existed before. It's a new creation made up of people from every tribe, tongue, and nation. There is no messianic uh, believer and the uh, uh, Christian believer. It's foolishness. It's one. Whichever language. The Bible says, and behold, I saw people from every tribe, tongue, and nation. Whatever language you use to describe the Messiah, describe the Messiah. He knows who he is. So don't partition yourself that you are a messianic believer and you are not a Christian believer. You are only giving, you are feeding your ego. You are feeding your ego. And assuming righteousness based on um, tribe affiliation or intellect, all that is vain, very vain. The body of Christ is made up of everyone and it is one body, one Lord, one body. So brethren, let's stay focused on major issues and not on minor issues. You are a believer in Christ. You are born anew. Born again. Old things have passed away. What you are now is a new being, a new creation. Made after the image of the last Adam, Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.